Joe, Joe. I, I just saw oh, a monster right, destroy. Right. It, it's either a 50 foot monster or, or my late wife, Minnie. Groovy, out of sight. Keep on trucking, dynamite, ride on, far out, boogie, dig it, give a hoot, don't pollute. If you were raised in the States during the 70s, unlike Livingston and myself, you were likely bombarded ad nauseum with these particular slogans, specifically the last, as well as a good many others for warning us all of the impending perils on the topic of pollution. Second only to the fear of global nuclear Armageddon, the anti-pollution movement managed to help make the world a rather better place. Yet it also had the dubious distinction of spawning more than a few monster films on that fearful premise, like the one we shall present to you tonight. Good evening, I am Vincent Van Dahl. This is Mr. Livingston, that is the lovely and mildly dangerous Tangella, and you, our valued and appreciated viewers, are watching Creature Features the most sophisticated program on television. Well, perhaps not sophisticated, but impressive because tonight we shall be showcasing a high quality film and our guest will be the actual filmmaker who brought it to life. A somewhat rather rare treat for a program as woefully underfinanced as ours. Tonight's movie is a cult classic, The Milpitas Monster a spine-chilling account of what just might happen to a small Bay Area community should its local landfill become overrun with rubbish. And joining us to watch the film and enlighten us about its creation will be director Robert Burl. We're sure Robert will inform us as to what the gestalt of that time period was like to inspire such a creation, as well as describe the many perils of striving as an independent filmmaker during that particular era. Livingston, you've seen the film, your verdict? It is hip, cool, and out of sight man. Good show! We can always count on our Livingston to disgorge the spirit and levity of a given film. So adorn your bell-bottom jeans and other articles of garish clothing and prepare for a nostalgic trip back to 1976 as we present The Milpitas Monster, remastered and in living color. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the show. We are with a very special guest again, Mr. Robert Burl, creator of the Mill Peters Monster. You know, I really love this movie. <laughs> I've seen it twice now, and I'm going to give you a compliment, which may sound like an insult, but it is so absurd. <laughs> it's fantastic. Thank it's you, just, Vincent. I'd... It's the best. Yeah, if you don't have your garbage can, that can be a problem. So this was one of Wilkins, Bob Wilkins' favorite films. <laughs> and you were on his show three times mm -hmm. about this film. You were on John Stanley's version twice. That was later. And now you've been on this show twice. And it's like, you're like, you're like the most famous, like frequent guest 
Well, creature features. Well, the, the film has an anniversary show every year. Every, every Halloween, it's a natural fundraiser. So this is our 41st first year. 41 years. That's, that's absolutely worth it. It's worth it. It's like, it's such a great <laughs> snapshot of what the 70s were like. It's true. Right, right. It's a time traveler. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to get all kinds of details about this film and about Robert and maybe tell us some stories about Bob Wilkins as well. But first, let's go ahead and start this. Uh, there's a few people out here who have never seen this film before. Oh. We're going to change that. We're going to fix it. We're going to make it good. <laughs> all right? So, you stay with us. You stay with us. And let's start the Milpitas Monster. Milpitas, 1890, a small and humble community in Northern California, rich and friendly people and natural resources. Its very name means land of a thousand gardens, a rich, fertile land. But as in all developing communities, Milpitas soon developed growing pains. By the 20s, many fashions come and go. The automobile becomes the new toy of a progressive society. Milpitas grows and flourishes, and with its growth, a slight inconvenience. The rich, fertile soil and an abundance of clear water rapidly establishes as the breadbasket of California, Milpitas. Then, the 1930s, Milpitas acquires political strength. A new deal sweeps the country. As a new political platform races through the nation, it rapidly becomes known, as goes Milpitas, so goes the state. But even with a breadbasket, there must also be a waste basket. As the wind of politics change, so do those of nature, and man's own waste returns to haunt him. Garbage waste, stockpiling, growing, expanding, mushrooming. By the 70s, man's own refuse begins to strain the very bowels of the earth. Untended, it becomes a spawning ground for terror.
are polluting the river, the people are polluting the streets. Yet I ain't seen nothing so beautiful as the green, green grass at home. So don't go telling me I don't know nothing. Just leave this country boy alone. Yesterday I took a walk down toward the city dump. It didn't take long to get there. I just walked till I had. Problems with the missing garbage can could get quite serious. Priscilla! 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 I'm coming! why he smelled like perfume lately. Priscilla, Jeff is getting impatient. I said I was coming. Hey, look, there's a piece here. Maybe I should tell him about my mom's missing garbage can. Morning, officer. How are you? Something in the neighborhood getting all through our garbage here. It's bothering us. It's bothering all our neighbors all throughout the whole place here. The whole street is happening. Yes, sir. We're having several complaints on this. So, could I get your name for the report? Oh, John Kennedy. But uh, what, what are you guys going to do about it? Well, sir, we're checking into it. And, uh, yeah, we'll but get... you've been checking an awful long time. Boy, that sure seems like an awful lot of perfume. Oh, come on. Oh. Here's a new one for you trivia folks. As if our friends in Milpitas haven't had enough problems, they can add a new one to their list. Listen here. Missing garbage cans. That's right. Missing garbage cans. City Hall has been overwhelmed with complaints that their trash containers have been stolen or vandalized. They also have some heavy interference from the Channel 36 television tower located on the Milpitas foothills. Really? 
More music now on Keen. Here's the Monster Mash. Boy, look at that cop go. It must be after some of your friends. I guess it can't be them. Is the guy okay? Uh, yeah, he's okay, but listen to him. He keeps saying somebody stole his garbage. What's going on, anyway? I don't know. Boy, sure smells around here. Yeah, well, I did my job. The garbage is all yours. Minding my own business, doing my job, picking up the garbage, and all of a sudden it disappears. I don't understand. Mamma mia, me duele la cabeza. My head is full. What do you think, Mike? If that's a real footprint, that thing's got to be at least 50 feet tall. Nothing can be that big. Wow, look at that thing! It's upside down! That's too bad! Look at those footprints! Footprints! Hey. Hey, kids, this doesn't concern you. Go on back to school. Um, could we please look at the size of the tires on that, sir? Uh, do you know what size uh, uh, speakers are in there? This doesn't concern you. Go on to school. Hey, don't ask us, man. We just want to help. Ah, what's the matter with him, man? Your garbage truck get turned over. He's been driving too fast. And welcome back to the show. In case you missed the first segment, we are with Mr. Robert Burl, creator of tonight's film, The Milpitas Monster. Robert, like I said before, I love this film. I think you should make another one. Mm. But before we discuss that, I think you should tell us what inspired you and your cohorts to make such a film. I guess it was the jokes that I kept hearing about Milpitas that kept appearing. And when Bob Wilkins started putting a few jokes out, um, I just said, okay, we're gonna have to put him in this film. So it grew. It grew around the inspiration of Bob Wilkins. So I was always under the impression that he was making the jokes because of the film, but <laughs> it was the other way around. You made the film because of the jokes. It's Milpitas. Well, it's interesting. When the Sarah Twin Theater, uh, Bob said, you know, can you imagine that Milpitas has a, a two screens in Milpitas? Two, two screens. And I thought, Okay, we can laugh cool. about that one, but... Uh, you wanted to put something on one of them. <laughs> That's right. Right, right. So, did, was this ever shown on the original Creature Features? The film? Uh, not the entire film. We showed uh, some, some of the t test, test footage. Why not? And ours went into uh, sale, uh, sale distribution, and it got tied up with the, with the lawyers and the red tape. So, oh. there's about four or five years there where the film was in limbo. Lawyers, lawyers have a way of ruining films, don't they? They had all that was legalese. <laughs> yeah. It's like Japanese, but different. Well, we had to get all the releases, and that took a little longer than we thought, because we, we weren't planning on selling the film within the first week, but a man walked up to us, said, Mr. Bill, I like your movie. I'm going to buy you a movie, guy from Texas. Right. I'm going to buy you a movie for $100,000. You're a star. <laughs> Which was quite a bit of cash back then, right? Which was a lot, yeah. So right. the next day I brought that down payment. It was a $500 he put in my pocket. And I gave it to the principal. And he looked at it and said, well, we got to give this to county council. Oh. So that was the first introduction to the lawyers. So now you've got lawyers and school <laughs> red tape to contend with. No well, one was never on Preacher Features. But we'll pass that now, right? <laughs> it's like not an issue anymore. <laughs> Right? No. All right, well, let's see some more of this film because I'm excited. I've forgotten how it goes and I'm seeing scenes that I loved. So uh, we're going to talk with you some more. You got some props to show us, right? He's got some nice things I he do. brought. And uh, let's get back to Milpitas Monster here on Creature Features. See you after the break. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Mine's empty. No fish in here. Food's all gone. Someone's polluting the bay. That's why there's no fish. hydrogen sulfide in it. You think that's bad? Come on over here. All the fish came up dead. Look at this one. Looks like a tumor. Let's get it to the lab and take a look at it. I've never seen anything like it. I don't know what that is. We'll have to send that to Cal Academy. Any results from that sample yet, John? There seems to be a trace of methanol and some other oxygen in it. Well, here's the final test. If it's that bad, we're going to have to take it for analysis. Yes, we should get a gas chromatograph test run on this. Can you have that ready for me in a few minutes? Should be nothing but spring water in that slough. fish in the hole. There are no more fish. Things come out of water.
Got a big one. Box alarm. Where's my booze? Got a place for everything here. Got to be somewhere. Where's my booze? No booze like my booze. Oh, yeah. There it is. What's this? My booze. My still. Ruined. All ruined. Gotta go to town. Find me another home, I guess. Never seen that before. last week. I found garbage all over my lawn. I had to go out and buy two new cans. They cost me eight bucks a piece. For you and everybody else. Look, you need your garbage picked up, you call me. If you have trouble with your garbage cans, call City Hall. Yes, Mrs. Robinson. We've got your name on the list, and we're looking into the matter now. More missing garbage cans, Mayor. What's up, Deb? Isn't anyone looking into the matter? Thanks again. Sure thing. Anytime, Randy. Hi, Dave. Hi, Randy. You got the proof we need? Good morning, Randy. How are things? It's right here in the camera. Well, let's complete this report. We'll get these reports to Dr. Linksford in Washington, and then we'll know. You know, from up in the air, we could see these depressions coming out of the slough that almost looked like foot breaks. I used to think this was some kind of a joke. You know, it's going to come a time when you should throw that away, Tangella. You know, it's starting to smell poorly. Welcome back to the show. It's time for letters. Mr. Burrell had to go do something with the Milpitas monster's foot or something like that. I don't know. So we're going to read letters. What do you think, Livingston? Shall we? Share our mailbag. Oh, this is a big one. I'm starting to like the long ones. They, does somebody put a lot of time into this? It's not like the other one that says you're stupid. All right. So our first letter is from... Steve Sheets from Santa Rosa. He's, he's close to us, which is nice. All right, he says, uh, Dear Creature Features, you guys rock. He put two exclamation marks. So he but, means it. So maybe he means we rock twice. I don't, I don't know. Vincent, you have the perfect dry sense of humor. Tangella has the scary cuteness. I don't know about that. And uh, Livingston is the personification of stoic. Is that accurate? Quite. All right. Your movies are bad in a good way. 
I know you have copyright issues to deal with. We do. Oh, we better look into that. I shall. But could we see a movie without Bela Lugosi in it? You know, I, I've been saying this for a long time. I'm, I'm growing a little tired of Bela as well. But you know, we let some of our guests choose, select the movie. And uh, they all want these Bela Lugosi movies. So who am I to say no? But uh, I'm going to start saying it because Steve agrees with me. It's the first person I've had to agree with it. I know you have presented a couple of movies without him, but would like more. Agreed. Also, I thought it was great that you had Sally Wilkins on as a guest. What a classy move. Keep up the great work. I love Sally. We should have Sally back, shouldn't we? We should. She was very nice. She Quiet. said she'd bring us cookies next time, too, and I bet she bakes wonderful cookies. All right, what do we got next? We've got one from James Labad in San Jose. Another one from San Jose. I, I don't know about you San Jose people. I, I'm beginning to think there's nothing to do in San Jose, so you watch our show. And I love that fact, so don't change it, but I, I feel kind of bad for the city of San Jose. They have nothing to do but watch our show. All right, and uh, James, 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 look, his email says Jason, and his name says James. I'm confused. James says, Dear Vincent, I watch Creature Features every Saturday night, and I absolutely adore the show. I love the movies, the guests, and even the commercials. My girlfriend, however, hates the show. Now, what is it with girlfriends hating the show? This is like the third one we've got like this. So probably she wants to do something else. Oh. Like go out to dinner or something. This is, this is why this man knows more than me. She says you should give up hosting and let Tangela take your place. Do you have any advice? Well, you know, we, we tried this whole Tangela thing once before, and it did not work out too well. It was rather quiet. To say the least. Uh, do you have any advice? I would say um, take your girlfriend dancing next Friday night and make sure she's tired so that when Saturday night comes, she does not want to go out, and I think she will like our show a little bit more. I could be wrong, but sometimes I'm right. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. All right. And the last letter is to all three of us, T uh, Vincent, Tangela, and Livingston. This comes from Johnny B. Like Johnny B. Good, right? Perhaps. The song. I like that song. He says, Livingston rocks. Is that true? More classical, actually. Right. Where's he from? I noticed a slight accent. Where are you from? I know where you're from, but tell them where you're from. Europe. Hey, he's, which, which part of Europe? The middle of Europe. He's from Germany. You know, the place where they, they make shoes, right? Shoes? Yeah, they make shoes in Germany, right? Clocks. Clocks. Mercedes-Benz. Switzerland. BMW. Oh, Mercedes-Benz. There you go. And he says, uh, Tangela's accent is not as pronounced. Yeah, you should hear her voice. Quite obvious. It's, she she won't speak for you, but she speaks to us all the time. It's she speaks too much, so when she's silent, it's it's a small vacation for us. I was hoping you could get Alice Cooper or John Carpenter on the show sometime. W would we do that at the same time? That would be rather interesting, would sir. We have to put two chairs out again. That, could be complicated, but uh, we'll try. And uh, I would also love some more movies from the 70s. Keep up the scary work. Well, tonight's movie is from the 70s, right? Milpitas Monster. So we sort of predicted your desire here, Johnny B. And that's it. All right, that's it for letters. If you want to send us a letter, you send it to the email address down below. Send us a letter, and if we read it on the air, we shall send you some wonderful gift in the mail. If we do not read it in over the air, then uh, no, I don't know. What are you going to do with it, Tangela? No. She has a bird, and I've seen her put it on the bottom of the birdcage, so that might happen. That's it for now. Stay with us for some more of the movie, and we'll be back after the break. Five. Over what? 
gotta be more violent. What was that? Oh, that must be George Keister coming into town to collect some bottles. Word is he has a still. Oh, he's got one of them going again. Yeah, that's what the word is. Uh, okay, I think I'll have another drink. What? Somebody turned out the light. All right, hey. made it to the duel again. One more day, here we are. Oh, hey, mellow out, man. <laughs> Hey, man, who's the teacher on duty here? Should be Brennan. I don't know. I don't see anybody. Are you sure? Oh, hey, I think it's Colombo. <laughs> hey, this <laughs> place is dead. We gotta spark this place up. <laughs> we gotta do something to liven it up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is our last year. Hey, what about that skunk we did in the air conditioner, huh? <laughs> hey, man, that was great. Hey, that I got an idea. Hey, just pull over to our spot and I'll tell you my plan. Hey, we're gonna think up the whole town. Yeah, yeah. How are you gonna do that? Here's my idea. Remember those footprints we saw over on Windsor Street? Hey, they can't be real, though. They're too big. Oh, I know they're not real, but we can make them real. Yeah, monster footprints. <laughs> All over the whole oh, thing. All right! Hey, 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 Brennan, hey, quick, spray some Lysol. <laughs> <laughs> not in my oh, face, man. Come on, your face, man. Come on, it's Brennan. Hello, Mr. Brennan. Morning, guys. How you doing? Oh, fine, fine. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I think your car's on fire. What, what, my, my car? Yeah. Hey, look, my car's on fire. Hey, man, if I get busted again, it's a military Oh, uh, you guys really... Now, up, two, three, four. Okay, clowns, to the office. Ah, uh, busted. <coughs> I keep telling you guys, <coughs> don't listen to you me. Take your hat off. Hey, I told you, Dan, it was me at such a car fire. <coughs> How do I know that? Because <coughs> I ate mine. <laughs> hey, hold it. You guys have been in trouble here for a long time, and we have to do something about it. Oh, <laughs> I may have just the thing for you people. Our football team is beginning its practice season, and I think they need your help. Hey, hey, now wait a minute now. We didn't do anything that way. Come on. Hey Priscilla, Mr. Brennan thought the school would be honored if we brought this thing out here. Oh really? We also have the honor of taking it back, so can we try the thing out? Sure, if you think you know how. Hey, we can work. get this thing to work. Hey, you sure know what you're doing. Yeah, we know what we're doing. You need the blind. Hey, I think it goes in this end. <laughs> no, it don't. Hey, hey, this thing. Yeah, that's hey I can see your ugly mug, Keith. Hey, yeah, you guys ready? I don't believe it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know what we're going to do. Come on, come on, come on, where? Whoa, that thing is loud! What'd you say? <laughs> There's Penguin, then shoot him. <laughs> hey, Penguin. Hey, maybe I'll see you later. Uh, maybe. Hi. Hey, hey, let's get this thing out of here. Okay, okay. we yeah. know it works. All right. Take it on out. Hi, Jeff. Hey, uh, what were you and Keith talking about? Oh, it was nothing. Hey, why don't we go to the carnival tonight? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mom finds out about this mess, could be the army for sure. Man, every time we do something, you're always growing. Hey, you ain't so brave either, sucker. Hey, you want to fall off the hey, roof? Hey, you want to go with boy, me? Man. Hey, shh, shh, shh. Come on, let's go! Come on, you guys! Hey, it looks like a Bombay hatch. What do you mean? Get in there. Hey, he's now, he's now. <laughs> My fingers! <laughs> ah! That hurts! Be quiet! Get the sulfur! Let's 
S-U-L-P, S-U-L. Oh, here it is, here it is. shouldn't have eaten that second hot dog. That was fun. I wish they could make it go faster. Sir, where's the bathroom? Right by the snack bar. Uh, You're so silly. You can take it. Where was I? There's gotta be one here somewhere. Priscilla? I want to talk about us. I oh, look, Jeff, I got one. Yeah, here's another one. Here's another winner for the lovely lady. See? An asterisk. You don't even smoke. Well, it's better than nothing. Let's go on a ride. I really don't think I ought to. Uh, not the way my stomach's feeling, uh, Priscilla. I really don't think that... <laughs> Two tickets, please. Okay, one more ride. Just for you. You like this ride, Jeff. Yeah. I know. I love it. You can take it. Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. Priscilla! Priscilla! <laughs> Monster flip! <laughs> oh, 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 I can't do it! That's it? Not too much. Not too much. Yeah. Alright, that's good. Easy up. No. Oh, that's too much. Alright, that's good. That's good right about there. That's good. We'll just leave it late. Do this right. Hey, what was that? Hey, Tony, check it out. Hey, what was that thing, man? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. Hey, come on, Tuli, check it out. Yeah, yeah, sure. Who made these footprints, huh? What footprints? I thought you did. Oh, really? It wasn't me. I am not having a good time. I don't think it's so funny. Well, you don't have to be so snotty about it. Priscilla? Gotta be one here someplace. Right, Priscilla, I'm shocked at you. I thought you liked me. Well, Jeff, I'm fed up with you. Do you really mean that? I thought we were, you know. Well, if you can't learn to have fun, keep this ashtray and sit on it, penguin. Welcome back to the show. We are still with Mr. Robert Burl, who created the, tonight's film, Milpitas Monster. And you've brought some props. So, no, these are miniatures, right? Yeah. You know, this was an interesting shot from a, a, a front-loading dumpster that picks up the garbage can. And, of course, this, this was, was the model. This was used in the film. Using photography. Let me see. There I you shall, go. I shall show it. It looks like a real dumpster. We glued the photographs even, right on the box. It's there. even got the things. It does. For the pokers. This is fantastic. And this was in the film. So you'll see the monster lifts up. The, the truck is mon like a it's monster. This. It picks up the dumpster and picks it up to the top. And that's where we see for the first time this giant hand that comes down. And oh, so I'm going to recreate that scene. <laughs> see? No, this is wonderful. And look, you even got the logo of the company, right? Yeah, Browning Ferris was a big part of our film. They, oh. you know. Did they make these for you? Oh, no. This is a, done in photography This, is, this is a dumpster that, like, a mouse family would use, right? 
the Samuel Golden Air okay. Studios in my classroom. The Lilliputians might use this stuff, <laughs> right? I don't know. All right, what else we got? Well, halfway through the film, um, you'll see the cozy kitchen restaurant is taken out. So after we struck the, no, the I strike remember the that set, scene. we had to take the the building apart as we took so took apart the set. So this is a sign on top of the miniature, and we wanted to say the the right. sign from the right on the front of the cozy kitchen restaurant. What's this? And again, it's that was a string. Uh, why, why is this string? Well, it did have some wire connections to the front of the miniature. I was miniature. hoping you were going to say there was lights inside. There's a little tiny eye hook. Yeah, I've they're, never they're, seen an eye hook this small. <laughs> that's right. This is the most miniature eye hook. This is like used for puppets or something, I think. That's yes, maybe. Very convincing when you take a look right. at our model. And this is this is very light. It's like balsa wood, mm -hmm. right? It's on the, on the top part of the Cozy Kitchen restaurant. You could have repurposed this for a model airplane. Mm -hmm. All right, what do we got next? Well, in the front of the restaurant, we had a part of the street was there. and This is, this is for the little dog scene, right? <laughs> it's a little mi miniature in the foreground Look, in, front, a, in front of the cozy kitchen. It's a tiny hydrant. Yeah. We've got these in the UK as well, you know, but they look <laughs> different, like the phone booths. Oh, it's made out of wood. Look, Shh. I can see the grain. Oh, boy. So somebody, like, turn this on a <laughs> lathe, right? Yeah, this is some... beautiful. It's perfect. I, it looks real in my hand. I feel like a giant. Well, this is absolutely incredible, Robert. And you must have thousands of things like this. Well, you make a feature film, there's less little parts. And you kept it. Because, like, Steven Spielberg would have thrown it away. He would have thrown this in the dumpster and said, <laughs> I do not want it anymore. All right, well, shall we get back to the film? Let's do that. Let's do that. Stay with us. We'll see you right after the break. Kennedy? Yes, sir. yes I, I've heard that you've seen some of these mysterious footprints You're around. You're darn right I have, and so has everybody in the neighborhood seen it. And he's, we're making up signs, we got them all in the garage, we're going down to that city council, we're going to see what they're going to do about it. We're, we're just about fed up with this stuff. Thank you, sir. Another one of these irate citizens of Milpitas, obviously fed up with all of these mysterious footprints and missing garbage cans. Something is evidently going to have to be done about this.
over here, fellas. It's got that same smell. And look at it. I think it's growing. If those are real footprints, we're going to need a lot more help. The Milpitas police have intensified the search, calling in 25 extra reserve units to help locate the source of those giant footprints, which seem to be linked, they say, to those mysterious missing garbage cans. And it gets mysteriouser and mysteriouser. Interference on the all-night movie on Channel 36, whose tower, as you know, is located on the Milpitas foothills, may also be tied into this... this oh, wait a minute. Something just into our key newsroom. The scientists at the California Academy have confirmed the fact that the water samples taken from the bay are identical to those found around the mysterious footprints. This just into Key News Now, details as they arrive. More music now on KEEN. This is... Just one more. You got any money, George? I don't know. Look, Joe, we've been friends for a long well, time. Look, friend, you've got a bill of $150 here. Now either pay the bill or get out. One or the other. How about just a little itty bitty one, Joe? All right, George, if I give you one little bitty one, will you promise to leave? Or will I ever? You won't see me around here the rest of the evening. See me the rest of the evening. I'll buy you one little drink as long as you promise to leave. I'll leave. Thank <laughs> you. 
does it. No more drinks for you. But, but Joe! Joe! I better take another nap. <laughs> And welcome back to Creature Features. We are with Mr. Robert Bell still watching Milpitas Monster. Hopefully you're watching it as well because this is a good movie. Even though it's technically not a good movie, it was not made by Hollywood, it's even better, right? So it's a fantastic film. It's not well, a good film, it's a fantastic film. But That's my theory, I could be wrong. Well, we did get some, some help once the film was you know, in, put into production. Well, what I wanna know is where in God's name is Milpitas? I've never been. Well, of course, it's, um, we call it the capital of San Jose because on the map, it's above San Jose. That's so it's wonderful. like the head of Silicon <laughs> Valley. Your, your icon should be like a skull, like this. Well, you're picking up the humor uh, that a lot of people knew about. So what we had is a very unique name. Where's Milpitas? Well, it's near Agnew. Agnew? Yeah, it's down in the I've south part of, of the bay. I've heard of Milpitas, but I've never heard of Agnew. Well, Agnew was a, a, a hospital for the insane. Oh. And if they wanted to go, where, where is Milpitas? Well, it's near Agnew Hospital. Oh, so everyone knew. So All everybody right. was crazy. So, <laughs> so how, what inspired this? I mean, what put this plan in your head to make a film like well, this? Well, October, you know, we're in October, and that is the month of the artist. Of and what year? Uh, it was 1973. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. And the assignment in my commercial art class was to create the annual Halloween poster assignment. And you were a teacher. I was. Right. And somebody asked, what's for extra credit, Mr. Burl? And I said, for extra credit. Well, if somebody could come up with the Milpitas Monster poster, and then everybody looked, they turned their heads, and I said, that sounded pretty good, didn't it? Milpitas and Monster. And just all the pieces began to fall into place. We found a great title. Oh, it's a wonderful title. I mean, if you add like location monster to just about anything, the Loch Ness monster. Well, the we have the Bodega word. Bay monster. We should do this one. Bodega Bay monster. It could be a sea monster this time. We have the letter, the three letters, pit, right in the middle of Mill Pit. Yes, Milpitas. Oh, so that, and, and what does that do for us? Well, you get uh, someone with that, you know, have people say the name of the title with the little little emotion, you know, Milpitas Monster. Oh. It has, has kind of so a So we should all be it. saying it like this, even our friends at home. Well, as you can hear, that was Paul Fries that, who narrates oh, the film. Oh, now tell us about him. Yeah, well, Steve Wathen had done some commercial work with him. Steve Wathen, one of our filmmakers. No, but who is he? And he had done commercials with what a lot of people feel Hollywood's greatest voice is Paul Fries. That's spelled with an S, Paul Who's Fries. Who's famous for? Well, Rocky and Bullwinkle, you know, you heard of uh, Boris. The narrator. Yeah, and right. at the Haunted House in Disneyland, he's the voice of the Haunted House. And we just lost uh, June Foray. 
who did oh. Rocky mm. and Natasha. Very sad. The sound is a big part of a motion picture. I used, I used right. to think the picture was the lead part, but good sound is very important. For well, we've film. learned this the hard way. Yes, we did. Trust us. All right, well, let's get back to your film because your film is good and I'm boring. You're not, but I am. So um, let's, let's watch some more of the film. What do you say? I'd like to watch it again. All right. well, you've probably seen it 10,000 times. <laughs> 2001. All right. All right. Back to the male Petis Monster. We'll see you after the break. I wonder what in the world did this. I don't know, Captain. Whatever it was, it was pretty big. Look at this over here, the size of that footprint. They're not going to, police aren't going to be able to cover this up. And look at this over here. And over here. Look at the marks on the wall. I don't know. I just don't know. What in the world could have done something like this? I guess the mayor is going to have to call his emergency task force meeting now. Please be calm. You've, you've asked for the truth, and we will give you the truth. We, we want to give you the truth. You've asked for help. We've appointed a special emergency task force to consider this problem. I'm on my way to a meeting now of that emergency task force, and if you'll excuse me, we'll find the solution to this problem. We'll find the truth. Bob, those folks are upset. Yes, they were. We Gentlemen, I'm certainly glad that you could all make it to this meeting. We've got real problems in our community. All of you already know each other, so we'll get right to the business at hand. I'd like to introduce to you Mr. Dwayne Walls, who, because of his military experience, I have appointed as the director of civil emergencies. So at this time, I'd like to turn the meeting over to Mr. Walls. Well, thank you, Mayor. Gentlemen, I'm not going to dwell on my military experience. We have a problem. Cozy Kitchen has been destroyed. Garbage cans are missing. We've even had a garbage truck destroyed. There is no... There, there's no pattern to the way this thing works. These red spots represent the areas that have been hit. Now, so what are we going to do about this? We've had dozens of calls. Well, we've already started. For the last 24 hours, we've been trying to contact Dr. Lingsford. Dr. Who? Dr. Lingsford. He's the world. Hello? Uh, yes. It's Dr. Lingsford. Oh. Hello? Hello, Dr. Lingsford? Yes. Yes. Yes, we understand that you're aware of our problems. <laughs> well, Mayor House, <coughs> can you hear me? What you folks have is the same problem that they had down in Azusa last year. Yes. The what? That's right. And there's no question in my mind, <coughs> there's no question in my mind that we have the solution for you. What you folks need is, uh, 
What you need is the Odorola. The Odorola? Oh, yes, yes, doctor, yes. Thank you very much. It's on its way by jet. What? The Odorola. What's an Odorola? Oh, you've been to one dance. You've been to them all. Hey, look at that. Hey, hey Priscilla. Hey, I wonder where the penguin is. <laughs> hey, you know, the only exciting thing that happens around here is the cozy kitchen explosion or something. Yeah, we could spike the punch like before. And get in trouble like before. <laughs> yeah, but everybody would walk around like Stu George. <laughs> Hey, they say George really saw something last night in the kitchen. Boy, he's really a celebrity. And George is always seeing something. Yeah. Hey, wouldn't it be a gas if we get old Stu George into the dance? Yeah. yeah. We could yeah. tell him he's getting some free booze for his uh, <laughs> pink elephant yeah, or something. Yeah, that's a good you know? idea. Hey, they said he saw some footprints there, too. No, that's just somebody cutting in on our action. Yeah. Hey, let's go ask the celebrity himself, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, let's go, let's go. <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> Mayor, excuse me, but the Odorola is here. Oh, it's here, finally, the Odorola. Mr. Wolves, you better take a look at this. Well, let me see that. Boy, this is fantastic. What's this thing do? It's a, it's a monster detector. Gentlemen, there is no doubt what we have to do now. We're here to entertain you tonight. Let's start the game going. Children should not play with dead things. Where are you 
guys taking me? Hey, Chief, how are we going to get him? Oh, leave it up to me. Uh, Jay, I think I'm going to wait in the car. In case you guys need a quick getaway. Oh, uh, okay. Somebody here to help us. Yeah, where are we going to find a man then? Oh, it is. Oh, oh hi. How's the dance going so far? Oh, we're glad you're here. It looks like a drunk coming out of the can over there in the corner. Yeah. A drunk? Yeah. <laughs> hi. Hey, I'll, I'll take a look at it right now. Okay, right? Thank you. good. Oh, here comes trouble again. Oh, man. Where are the Where are the Where are the Where are the Indication over towards the school. Oh my gosh, there's a dance tonight. My kids are there. Come on, let's get after them.
Come on, get yourself together. All right, no more penguin. Be a sir. Tell her how you really feel. This is it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get. Anybody seen Priscilla? She's right over there, sir. That's what made those other footprints. Hey, man, I think you're right. Priscilla! Jeez, look at that. What is it? It must be 50 feet tall. What can we do? Let's go get the cannon. It's a good idea. Does it work? Hey, no, but it makes a lot of noise. It's locked in the janitor's room, but we can go get it. Hey, let's go. Come on. All right. Let's go. Where is it? 
everybody. Dance over the toy. See? Mike? Curry? Over here, man. Let's go. What's that over there? It must be on the other side of the gym. Come on, this way. All right, man, over here. Let's take a look. Hey, listen to that thing. Yeah, that's the biggest thing I've seen in my life. I can't believe the size of that. What in the world are we oh, going to do? Let's... I don't know. Hey, get this thing out there. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. 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 What the heck is that thing? That's our school cannon. Does it work? Well, sorta. Well, we used to shoot the lights off the scoreboard. But... <laughs> if we could just cripple him. Or, or, we, we have some standing guys. Maybe. 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 Big. Gosh, you better hurry. He's moving. I need something to show it anyway. Will a hammer work? Oh, great. Perfect, perfect. Hey, hey, you fire me. Do we have a marksman here? Captain Jones has had military experience. Oh, good. Well, I'll do the best I can. Here, let's turn to the left. There, that ought to get him. Okay, now, here's the trigger, right here. I think it's got something. I think it's got Priscilla. She's my girlfriend. You say it's got a girl? We we thought we heard her scream. Look, a little bit more to the right. Get back now. This thing is steady now. Out. Ready? Steady. I can't tell for sure. Fire! Hey, I nice think we shot. got it. You hit it. Hey, I think the plane's on fire. The girl! It is Priscilla. Look, here comes the mayor. So what's going on here, man? Oh, Mayor, glad to see you. This is bigger than I thought it was. We're going to have to call the governor and get a hold of the National Guard. Mr. Mayor, sir, it's got Priscilla. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Don't get excited. We don't know for sure. Hey, move it again. Hey, look, it's taking off. Hey, there it goes. crazy. It must be a hole in the ring. We're going to have to follow it. Quick, man, to the high country. Right, man, to the quad. Hey, we gotta do something too. Hey, why don't we get your wagon? Okay. Hey, man, you guys just drive So you call this ham bone? Ham bone. I can't do it. I'm too uncoordinated. <laughs> We're British. We can't do things like this. <laughs> All right. So back with Mr. Robert Bill of Bill Petis Monster, director, writer, producer, chief bottle smasher. Thank you, Vincent. What is this? Oh, well, in the third act, of course, you know, everybody comes to the dance and you'll see that the monster reaches in for some garbage cans because she was she was standing next to some garbage cans and of course he's he accidentally picked her up and, and this there is she the prop. is this is a model of course that one holds in one's hand like that so this is like the fay ray of the old film or priscilla the mayor's daughter was she waving her arm well, she was trying to get away from the monster but the this monster is, was quite large this is ancient yeah it looks like it's been through a small nuclear war <laughs> oh god oh, she has nice hair it's a similar style to mine well, this is amazing. Another actual prop from the film. Mm. Watch for this. Wait, have we seen this yet? Maybe, maybe not. Well, right. the monster grabs her. You'll, you'll oh, see. she's bendy. Oh, yeah. All right. Very nice. We'll just set her up on the a skull A night of here. gripping suspense. She can dance with the skull. So you're talking about 
Bob Wilkins and how you found him. Mm -hmm. You rang him out of the blue and well, said what? Well, as the screenplay developed, of course, we needed to have a monster expert because in most of the B-rated films, there was always, you got to have some way to, to come up with, a, with an idea of how to overcome the monster. So we need a monster expert. So who are you going to call? Bob Wilkins. <laughs> who else? Or the Ghostbusters. So I don't it, think they existed yet. So in our film, the mayor, Mayor House, gets on the phone and there's a long distance call and um, I guess actually monster, the monster expert needed to return the call, that's what it is, because the phone rings and they hand him a red phone and they said, it's, it's Mr. Wilkins. Actually, you know, we... He, he should have always had a red phone on his table, I think. <laughs> it could have been like the bat phone. He could have called Commissioner Gordon and made requests. I think, you know, we had another name. Dr. Lingsford was his character name. And then the surprises that you see, he's talking to Mayor House and the cutaway, of course, is filmed right there at uh, Cape. That's, that's quite a departure from Wilkins. <laughs> yeah. I think you should have just called him Dr. Wilkins. Dr. Uh, Robert I, Wilkins the third. That would no, have been good. That's another way to yeah. do it. Well, it's so nice. He made a cameo in your film. Yeah. And it, was, it turned think, out to be the only... I think he also made a, a cameo in John Stanley's film, didn't he, Tom? Yes, he did. He, he was, uh, but this was a speaking part. This is in our film. We've we've got this nice little speaking part where he actually has some communication back and forth it would be on a crime camera. Not to let him speak, so. right? <laughs> I mean, he's got that voice. And everybody lo else. looks at the film. Oh, that's Bob Wilkins, right at the theater. Yeah. How fantastic! Mm -hmm. Yet they never showed this film. He's in the film. It's about the Milpitas joke he made, and he never showed it. That's sad. Well, we're showing it twice now. <laughs> Because we like it twice as much as Bob, I think. Well, the film was 16 millimeter, and with the digital age growing up, I thought, you know, this technology is amazing. The film's about the size of your fingernail, but could technology take this film to the big screen? So I challenged Cinemart Century Theaters. I called them up, do you think we could show this film? Why not? At your, and, and so they, they had a I way of it. doing it. You have to book the theater, and um, that, that costs some money. But then once the film's in the... Uh, once the film's been set up, they make what they call a DCP, which means digital oh, cinema. This present. is modern. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's what they were able to create, and that's what uh, you know. It's a, it's a hard drive that goes to the right. digital projectors. Oh, too much technology for me. <laughs> All right, I'm getting the signal that we have to get back to the film, and uh, we're going to see some more of that. But uh, when we come back, you're going to tell us about an opportunity hmm. to see the film on the big screen using this. DCP technique you've described <laughs> and uh, let's watch some more of this film and finish it up and we will be back with you soon stay with us Come 
Find this thing. Ben, I think he's right over that ridge there. Captain Enos, could you take him in and go in that direction? Captain Jones, could Let's you go. take him in and follow me? Yeah, right behind. Yeah, you're chicken out again. Hey, come on, you're bringing up the ring. Come on. Oh, no, follow the fireman, man. I got warrants. <laughs> come on, man. Wait for me. I'm I'm right behind you. <laughs> Just hitch a ride. You can take it. You're getting ready for the army. This is a bummer, man. It, it could be worse. It is worse. I got a bad feeling about this. Hold it. It must be right up ahead. Come on, you kids. Now stay back. We're just trying to help out, man. We ain't hurt nobody. Hey, who does he think he is, anyway? Look. There it is. Man, that sucker is notify all units. Good. It doesn't see us. Come on. Come on, let's stay with these guys. Oh. I'm thirsty. Where's everybody? Keith? Truly? What the devil is that? Oh, I don't believe it. Look at the whole cans. Yeah, I'll Get out. There. At least we found the town's garbage can. Come on. <laughs> you seem to be climbing higher up in the hills there. Um, hey, man, if you guys were smart, you'd get the copters. Good idea. How about getting the helicopter down? Maybe we can corral it. Oh, and while you're at it, have them get the squad up the eastern side of the mountain. Again, this, is we have a coming in. this is Copter 611. We're approaching sector 413 and should have the target in sight any minute. Look, it's going to the tower. Oh. Good, there comes the squad. Look, this is a good observation point. I think they'll set up right here. Look at the size of that thing. Look, it's a the copter. Now that pilot just stay just out of its reach. How are we going to get Priscilla? Look, you guys stay oh, back. Maybe Keith's got uh, an idea. Yeah, maybe hey, Penwood, come in. Hey, let's stick together. Hey, 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 I don't want to know we're leaving. Okay. Here, I got an idea. Come here. Look through it our way, man. Boy, I hope Keith knows what he's doing. Look, it's getting near the tower. Uh, there's thousands of volts there. Maybe we can force him in there, and, and maybe we can fry him. We'll need some bait. Hey, these look like they'll do just fine. You got your knife, don't you? Yeah. Okay, here's what we'll do. Hey, we'll put some eye holes in this strip up here. Then we can get them, side them. We can sneak up on the monster there. Uh, are you sure? You know hey, we gotta do something. Look, it's reacting to something. What the smell? I right, give me those glasses. Monsters after that tent. We've got to use it for bait. Good idea. But what do you see? Oh, no, not Keister. Hey, Penguin, come on. I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't do it like me, Penguin. Uh, are you sure you know what we're doing? Get down, Penguin, get down. I am. I am. Hey, maybe George can help. Look, we need some cable to make a lift to the copter. Yeah, there's some cables in the squad. 
good. This can will do perfectly. Will this do? Good. That's great. It'll do fine. Hey, we're far out, man. Now we're getting some action. We gotta bring Keister here. Quick. Oh, well, sure. Come on, George. We, we need your help. Hey, you think he's been sleeping? Roger, 12-8-P, over. What's going on? Hey, George, you want to help the town? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, get in this cab. Mm -hmm. Get in the cab? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, George, get in the cab. We've got to get this thing up in the air. Yes, George, you smell like a skunk we found in the air conditioner last year. Come on to the barn. Hang on to this. Okay, look, I, I just about got it. Okay, there it is. Go ahead, take it away. Take it up. Take it up and away. Now, those glasses. What do you see? I'm not sure. It, it's those kids again. Somebody help. Look, it's put her down. Okay, that's our chance. Come on, let's go get her. I'm, I'm right behind you. We've got to do something quick. Let's get to the squad. Where are the jumper cables? Right there. Oh, get me the dynamite. Got it. Is that the longest news you got? That's all I've got. It's going to have to do. Hey, come on, Carly. Where are you going, Wiggle? Good. What Still climbing the tower. Good, now that chance. Oh, here, stay here. Hey, mellow out, man. What are you doing here? Oh, you gotta come now. Hey, there she is. There we are, Priscilla. I've got you. Yeah, sure you do, Piglin. That's a lot of current. Here, now look. Look this one up to that connection over there. I guess we did it. We saved you. Okay, now, now let's take the dynamite, go out and can it, and also hook up the, uh, the power to the tower, okay? Yeah. 
George Keister. <laughs> Here comes Dwayne. It's got Keister. Oh no, the tower's gonna go any second. <laughs> be underneath all that stuff. How are we going to get him out of there? It's going to take us months. Now what do you do with 50 tons of fried garbage? And as for the Milpitas monster, well, all 20 tons of it was chopped up and hauled back to, you guessed it, the city dump. They said it wasn't the electricity, but the drunk that killed the beast, and that a fitting monument should be erected for their martyred hero. And if you should, by chance, ever travel through Milpitas, there are those who will tell you that old George Keister isn't really dead. They'll say he's still alive and has moved on to better things. Anybody seen Keister? Anybody seen well, Keister? You're down here, man. You've got to be out here someplace. Have you seen okay, Keister? Anybody yeah, seen him? Look. Hey, something's you, moving over there. Look, Bye, there's George. He's uh, Bye, so George. There. Keister. I'm thirsty. What's, what's that? What's that strange smell? Booze all gone. Sorry, it's polluting the bay. That's why there's no fish. Seems like it used. And as for the Milpitas monster, well, he was just a fly in the ointment of life. Look up, look out of sight. Watch what you do and watch where you go, cause it'll be out tonight. Right now, there's something in the air. But don't be alarmed, cause it won't do you harm if you get out of here. The Milpitas monsters on the loose again, spreading terror through our town. It seems that drunken fools have seen him stalking in the shadows now, but we'll all see him. We all will see him.
And so ends the Milpitas monster. You know, I thought um, George had died the first time I watched this. The, it's George, right? Well, George, yeah, George the Keister, um, you know, they, 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 you can't kill a drunk. That's well, the... You know, he's, he's one of the better dressed <laughs> hobos I've seen. He tucks his shirt in. His clothes don't look too ragged. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking he went into your closet for his <laughs> clothing for this actor. I could be wrong. Well, he took the monster back to the, to the dump, and it was all a big pile of 50 tons of garbage. What are you going to do with it? Well, they took it back to the same place it came from. And, As one would. And there's, everybody's the looking for George, monster. looking for George, and they heard something over there. What's that noise? And George, he made it through the, through the film. Right, right. Fantastic. Well, we're glad he lived. He did. I take it he's still alive, right, the actor? Mm -hmm. Good. We need to bring him next time. We show Doug Hegdall. I, I'd and like maybe to he do could that. wear the costume. He, yeah, he probably and I still shall has ask it. him to untuck his shirt. <laughs> all right, so you've got a thing coming up. Tell us all about this. Yeah, well, here's our poster. That's beautiful. We'll it's a, colorful. Take a good close look at this, the Milpitas Monster. Tell and, us all about the event. And we're going to be at the, uh, at the Milpitas Great Mall Cinemart Century Theaters. And that's uh, at 7 o'clock on the night before Halloween. So you oh. still can go trick-or-treat and don't worry about it. But the night before, it's become a tradition, the 30th. So, so all that's tickets, like a Monday. It's a Monday night because Halloween Monday. is uh, it's Tuesday this year, 2017. Well, some people miss football, but I, not me because I don't like football. Not American football. Yeah, so we'll be at the theater, and all tickets are, are $10. That's and reasonable. And it's a pre-sale ticket, pre sale ticket. This is ticket. Like a benefit, though, right? It is. It's going to be the proceeds goes to the firemen and policemen, explorers, the Milpitas uh, and fire explorers. And these are the, the, the lads and ladies who these ride These are kids around. from 14 to 20. That they ride. We're interested in possibly right. becoming a fireman that's or nice. safety officer one day. Well, that's a noble cause. Yeah. Right, right. So I like to... Good. Like so, so, and if somebody wants to purchase the film... Well, uh, Milpitas Monster... Dot com. So it's just milpetismonster.com. Dot com. And you get the tickets and there. And the, and the film is also available if you'd like the film. Oh, so we can get tickets as well. You can. Well, can they get like a reproduction of that little doll you showed us in the last segment? Not at this you know? time. But, you should uh, sell those, you know. Well, the film has the DVD extras in it, which I really would like to And we suggest. showed none of this. No. So it's like behind the scenes. That's right. It is, behind the scenes. Are you doing the voiceover narration thing as well? Paul Fries is in there with the re actual oh, recording wow. that he did with us and, the, and our students, of course, working together to make the film. That is absolutely yeah. fantastic. Behind the scenes, right. Well, that's incredible. Well, we want to thank you again for joining us and making our show better. Well, thank Honoring you. us with your presence. You know, I've got a gift for you that I would like to. A gift? I do. Oh, look at this. Here is another one of our models, but this is the miniature garbage that is can. Beautiful. And the last time this was on Creature Features. And it's made out of tin. <laughs> it is, it's, yeah. It's like a real can. It's got little handles. It's a little baby juice can. That's amazing. Apple juice. Gerber baby juice can. Now, you know, my rubbish containers do not contain this <laughs> fine wooden stand, so I think I shall be using this one more often than I use my own. Well, I gave well, it to Bob you. Wilkins. That's, and and Bob, this was in the and, film. And Bob Wilkins had it on the air, and he put it right here next to the candle. He had it sitting right here. So you think and I he should do that it, as well? He left it there. Maybe turn it aside so it doesn't quite jump out. Oh, like the skull. that. But right. it was always there on the cell. All through 1975, you'll see Bob Wilkins was, without saying a word, had our garbage can on the set. Well, it shall remain there as long as I allow it. Uh, I imagine Livingston, when he dusts, is going to move it oh. someplace. And here's Hopefully a little, he'll place here's it. Here's a little ticket. That's one of our tickets. Oh, there's a ticket to the... $10. See, you get $10. that ticket. $10. You could, you could go. Souvenir ticket. This is mine. So maybe right if in, I put right this inside, go. Livingston won't move my can. Well, fantastic. Well, it's been absolutely wonderful having you again, and uh, we hope to see you again soon. Well, on behalf of all the people who love Creature Features, you know, it's been a pleasure. And thank you so much for what well, you do. Thank you, sir. Thank you, and thank you, and thank you. So that's it for tonight. We'll uh, have something else next week. The movie will not be as good as this one. <laughs> the guests will probably be mediocre, and uh, <laughs> you can probably watch, like, American Idol or something, but I don't think it's on this late. So watch our show instead. We'll do something fun. We'll see you next time. So, Robert, hmm. you have to do another film. And I think you should cast me as the monster. 
Well, your hair is rather frightening. <laughs>